to some more Sims 4 Crazy Sim D&D edition where I take my D&D characters that I have came up with, even drawn them out, and try to recreate them in Sims. And eventually I will be putting all of these characters from this series into a household and seeing what in the world happens, what chaos reigns and falls upon these individuals. Because there is several different personalities going into this <laughs> and I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens. I'm actually building the build over up, up on my channel as well. There's a link down in the description below to the build playlist as well as the Create a Sim series playlist. Just in case you think you've missed a few characters here and there, I this is like the 18th character. So if you know you haven't seen all 18, go check out that link down below at some point. But for now, let's continue on with today's video. Now, by now, you should be seeing the sketch of this character, and I already know that this character has quite an interesting look to him. He is a tiefling, and I wanted him to be a little bit more scarier looking than some of my other characters. Like, that is one of his purposes. He himself necessarily isn't a bad person, but I wanted him to appear extremely sort of terrifying to some degree and definitely more so than the other tiefling that is in my series so far. Granted, she is only sort of like half tiefling. If you miss Shamira's, then go check hers out to know a little bit more about her and how she is like a half in a way. <laughs> but yeah, she isn't as full-blown tiefling as like he is. So yeah, but anyway. This is Takashi Azminos. I sometimes mispronounce my own character's names, which is sort of sad, but I try to make them have like interesting names or names that I don't use as often, and then I have a hard time pronouncing them, or I come up with how I personally want to pronounce them and then forget later on. Yeah, it's really weird and stupid and silly, but you know, it happens. Anyway, let's continue on talking about Takashi here. So we've already mentioned that he is a tiefling. As far as like his other things when it comes into the whole D&D world, he is a barbarian ranger. And my, <laughs> when I was creating and my boyfriend talked about, I don't remember if it was a fighter, technically that could have gave me basically the same feel as a mixture of a barbarian and a ranger, like a certain fighter or something like that, I don't remember. But for personality reasons, I really wanted these two things separate. I, sw I wanted the rage and I wanted the um, favorite enemy so I really wanted those things so that's what he is he's both of these things and he is a um, path of wild magic barbarian and a horizon walker ranger so that is his subclasses and he actually like his one of one of his main goals like he sort of has a similar one to Valencia because if you watched Valencia's you actually probably figure out this is Valencia's boyfriend this is the one that her group sort of did not like him and uh did not want her to have anything to do with him and she was like but I love him so screw y'all <laughs> but yeah anyway so yeah this this is this is her boyfriend and obviously they are very different <laughs> um but they love each other and they work and part of him wants to also protect her just like she wants to protect him but he has a few other goals in mind um <laughs> one is to f become stronger just simply as that he comes like his family that he comes from strength is sort of well known in their family so he greatly appreciates strength as a like trait that's just he should automatically have so he just wants to become stronger but he also wants to find his half sister and get revenge on her even though she's not really aware of the whole situation so that is going to lead me into his backstory so with Takashi he has two full tiefling parents they actually were like together they were like you know a happy family that a happy tiefling family <laughs> and uh so everything was fine but in some ways his his parents were never as close as like i wouldn't say they should have been but you know as they could as they could have been i guess is a good thing they did care for one each other and at some point i definitely would say they loved each other but it wasn't strong enough for that love to stay strong for a long period of time um definitely probably not as much as he actually loved him and valencia love each other it was probably even less than that but he Especially as a child, he wouldn't have realized that. And, you know, maybe even thinking back, maybe if he thought hard enough back to win his childhood now that he's an adult, 
and think about things. He might realize that, but at this point he's just sort of uh, more filled with revenge and rage in some ways to even think about that. But uh, uh, his father did eventually do something that you should not do and started drifting away and cheated on his mother uh, or, or was cheating on his mother. And eventually the woman he was cheating on with became pregnant. And he decided that he sort of wanted to leave his- like, he still wanted to be in Takashi's life, like, he didn't want to necessarily have nothing to do with his son anymore, but he wanted to be with the other woman and be with that child while also still getting to do things with Takashi, but he didn't want to be with his current wife anymore. And Takashi's mom is probably a little bit meaner than his dad to some degree, but she was infuriated by this notion and eventually found the woman and got rid of the woman and took the child because she at least could, did not feel right doing any harm to a child to an orphanage and leaving her there so that her husband hopefully wouldn't leave her it was a weird messed up way of thinking but you know some people sometimes people have those type of thoughts like they just don't fully comprehend what they're doing and how like it actually potentially won't work out the way that they're hoping it will. And well, um, <laughs> her husband definitely didn't take too kindly of that. They still ended up splitting, so he would try to find the child that was taken away and hope that she was indeed still alive, but there was no guarantee and he had no idea where his, his well, now ex-wife had taken her. And now Takashi is just mainly living with his mom and his he resents what happened, he hates what happens, he doesn't really care for his dad, and he doesn't like his half-sister. He strongly blames his half-sister for breaking up his family. And basically, one of the reasons why I wanted him to have a favored enemy, which is humans, because he thought, because he actually got to see a glance of the woman that his dad was cheating on with, he thought she was a normal human woman. Uh, ironically, she wasn't. So he hates humans for that fact because he thinks humans all would potentially act that way or all like in some degrees don't care about others. They just want what- they're selfish. They want what they want if it affects others, whatever. Granted, this woman had no intentions of that and I'm sure when she first started in this relationship she probably didn't even know the wife in Takashi existed. But, uh, <laughs> Until she had already fallen in love with this guy. So, you know, now she's just stuck in this situation. But he thought she was a human. She was not a human. And ironically, she is an Azamar. So technically, he's dating the same thing that this woman was. Because Valencia is also an Azamar. Granted, Valencia is a high elf Azamar. While this woman would have been a human Azamar. So in some ways he was right. But she technically is an Azamar. <laughs> now. If you watched one of the previous characters, I've even already mentioned them before, you might be connecting the dots already, and I actually mentioned in that person's video that eventually she would be connected to another character, and that is Shamira. Shamira is Takashi's half-sister. Shamira is the one Takashi is looking for. He doesn't like her, but the thing is, is he doesn't really know what she looks like too much. Just a small description of her from when she was little. And, you know, when she was little, she definitely was in her more human-y, looking look. So the blonde hair, the the more palish yellow skin, like yellow is like the undertone, like she's not actually yellow. But if you saw her create a sim, you get what skin color I'm trying to go for. Pale with a slight yellow tint. High, like, elves, especially like more towards high elves, but a lot of elves, they have that more yellowish undertone to me. Unless they're like something along the lines of drow, like they're like something real different, but like most elves, like wood elves and regu what's considered regular elves and high elves especially, they look like they have like a yellow undertone. Maybe that's just my interpretation of them. But yeah, anyway, you get what I'm saying. So he has no idea that she now looks a little bit more tiefling and a little bit more like him. That's where the red comes in that she, her other side has. She has more of a reddish um, skin tone when she's in her new main form look. And red hair and the, the horns. Technically, she's only supposed to have one horn, but in Sim's world, she has two. Um, and technically, he's supposed to have four, but in Sim's world, he only has two. <laughs> Limitations of Sims. <laughs> but yeah, so, that is, that is like his whole backstory and what he's sort of doing. I love connecting my characters. Potentially, I will never get to play them. 
So, you know, it probably really doesn't matter if I do get to play them and then obviously I can just edit their backstory a little bit or ask the DM for in that particular campaign like, hey, she's technically supposed to have a brother or hey, he's technically supposed to have a half-sister. Can you put them in your story somehow? Um, this is the, what I created, but if you don't like this, you can come up with your own thing or I could slightly edit the backstory if you want me to. <gasps> but anyway, yeah. But for me, they are connected and if I was to ever DM and put them all in a world, they would definitely be connected. So, yeah. But I like I like the connections. I like I like the stories intertwining every once in a while. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's just me. I, I like it. But you know. Anyway, so now as of for the whole Sims world, I did give him the chief of mischief aspiration just because you know he would be causing chaos probably a little bit. He is put, meant to be very quite different from Valencia but they they make it work they truly do care for each other and though they're op it's the whole opposite of tracks thing going on strongly with these two <laughs> so um but yeah he does have the chief of mischief so he likes mischief and stuff like that but in the end he doesn't want to be necessarily mean or evil he just likes being a little mischievous now if he ever seen his half sister or dad couldn't think of the word for some reason uh, <laughs> He probably would get a little mean, a little agitated. Now, obviously, technically, the Sim is going to be put into the same household as Shamira. So, I will have to do a little workaround somehow. Like, I probably will make them slightly dislike each other just because. Just so that the game sort of has an idea. But I don't want to make them strongly dislike each other because technically he won't recognize Shamira when she's with the red hair. He would only potentially get even a thought that it might be her when she has the blonde hair. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> now, as of the traits, once again, I do want and plan on putting a mod in that allows for five traits. But I've given the three main traits, just in case it doesn't work when I go to actually play this little mini-series. So, the traits I'm going to be giving him is hot-headed, self-assured, adventurous, jealous, and loner. With hot-headed, self-assured, and jealous being the main three. And the other two being added on later, as long as the game allows me to. <laughs> like, the mod is working, you know. The hot-headed is partially just because he is, he can get a little angry. He is a barbarian. So, I feel like that is just something he should definitely have. He has a barbarian part to him. He can get a little angry at times. Self-assured, though, because he, he does actually, you know, again, it comes back to the whole family thing. Like, a lot of them tend to be pretty strong. It's just a thing that they sort of value within the family and think highly of. So, I think at this point, as he's gotten older, he would be a little bit more self-assured of himself. Like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can get stronger. Yeah. And adventurous, obviously, the whole traveling around thing. He is trying to go find someone, so he definitely is okay with traveling. And I think he would actually enjoy it. I think it's one of the things that he actually would, like, quite enjoy just doing, even though, you know, he has a purpose. He likes the journey as he's actually going. So, it's not just about the end goal. It's also the going through goal whatever <laughs> and then the jealous just because i just could imagine him easily like you know with what happened with his mom like his family and stuff like that if he thinks it's gonna happen to him i could easily see him being a little paranoid about that so yeah he has the jealous trait and a loner just because you know he was an only child he's sort of when he once he goes out in the other world where he's a tiefling and the way he looks he, he's a little bit more of an outcast once he goes out in the world to other places but you know he's okay with it it doesn't bother him really he, or he doesn't let him bother him anyway he's perfectly fine with sort of being a loner so yeah that is Takashi let me know your thoughts down in the comments below you should also soon be seeing a few little screenshots of him and Valencia together because I do want to put the groups or the people that are meant to be together some photos of them actually together so yeah I I am pretty happy with how he turned out now obviously he doesn't look too much like he actually looks in my drawing but you know the tattoos are trying to represent the little the little black bits that are on his they're, they're supposed to be also be on his tail but i couldn't do that but anyway yeah so and I, I overall with what i was given i'm pretty happy with the outcome and i quite like how he turned out let me know your thoughts down in the comments below who is your favorite so far in the series do you sort of like the combination of valencia and takashi as well what, what do you think about those two being together? Make sure you are subscribed so that you see the future characters and eventually the little mini-series of me tossing them all into the same household together. 
hit the notification bell, you know all that lovely YouTube goodiness. And till next time, bye bye!